You've already taken measurements and recorded them on paper. Now it is important to create a digital record as soon as possible. This means that the data is fresh in your mind when entering. Once your data is digitized and in the computer, we can use a range of different programs to analyze and visualize the information you have collected. The digital record is also easy to share and will be a backup for the information in the box. BlueVentures has developed a double entry and checking system which is simple to use but makes sure that human error and typos are minimized. This means that you can be sure that the data you have on the computer is the same as that in your book. In this lesson, we will look at the step-by-step -step process for moving your data from written records to a digital format and learn how to use the double entry system to easily check and correct any errors in your data. First, you will need to download and open your customized data entry or input Excel file. This will be created with you by one of the organizations that you are working with. This file uses small programs called macros to operate. When you open the file, a warning may appear. Always select Enable Content. Before using the data entry sheet, always use Save As. This means that you keep a fresh template that is never changed. Name your file with the location and time period of the data being entered. For example, using a month and a year. The data entry sheet has six different tabs. These are the start, input one, data one, input two, data two, data three, and lists or reference. It is best practice to hide the tabs that you're not working with to avoid changing the wrong thing. To hide a tab, right click on it and select hide. To unhide a tab, right click on any tab in the window and select unhide. You can then choose the tab you want to unhide from the given list. For entry 1, we will hide all of the tabs except for input 1 and data 1. The data entry sheet is set out so you can enter the data from your books into the white boxes. Where there are drop down menus, you can either select one or type. The boxes will only allow certain values to be entered according to the data you are entering. If you enter the wrong thing, an error box will appear. For example here, individual weight must be a number. Also, mantle length cannot be as large as 100 and an error is shown. If something is not recorded in your book, use the NR option for not recorded. Once you've entered all the data into the boxes, press enter data. If this is successful, a pop-up box will say data entered and the boxes will be cleared ready for you to input the next row. If we go to data 1, we can see that the information from the boxes has been copied into this data sheet. Your data entry sheet may have another button with the word new in it. Here, after you've finished inputting all the information from one fissure, for example, you can press this and the fissure information is cleared. Boxes where the information remains the same for many entries are not cleared. This means you do not have to type them in every time, but only when they change. Once all of your data has been entered into data 1, you can move on to data 2. When we enter data, mistakes can be made. For example, mistyping or reading numbers from the book wrongly. Entering data again and using someone different means that the same mistakes are less likely to be made. Unhide input 2 and data 2. You can hide other sheets if you wish. Enter the same data in exactly the same way and in the same order as before. Once you have completed all the entry into data 1 and data 2, it's time for checking. The sheet will compare data 1 and data 2 and highlight any differences. Unhide the start tab and the data 3 tab, as well as data 1 and data 2. To start the checking process, press check data on the start sheet. If there are no problems, then all the data will be added to data 3. 
If there is a difference in the data entered, the checking will stop and highlight this in red. A pop-up box will ask you to check again in the data book and choose the correct value. You can choose the value from data 1, data 2, or type in a different value. Once you've chosen the correct value, the checking will continue to the end. If you have a missing or duplicated row, you will notice because you will see many errors and in several rows next to each other. If this happens, you should pause the macro. You can find the error in the data 1 or data 2 tab and correct it manually. To be able to edit, you will have to right click on the tab, select unprotect and use the password that you have been given. If you do not have this password, speak to your manager or technician for help in correcting the mistake. Once the error has been corrected manually, select a row number on the start screen that is a few above the correction and press continue checking. If you pause the macro, do not press check data. This will start from row 1 and you will lose all of your corrections. Once you have finished checking, it's time to save the data. Rename the Data 3 tab. Right click and select Rename. Call this tab Checked. Also rename your file with Checked at the end. Your data is now ready to upload.